In the mathematical study of metric spaces, one can consider the arc length of paths in the space. If two points are at a given distance from each other, it is natural to expect that one should be able to get from the first point to the second along a path whose arc length is equal to or very close to that distance. The distance between two points of a metric space relative to the intrinsic metric is defined as the infimum of the lengths of all paths from the first point to the second. A metric space is a length metric space if the intrinsic metric agrees with the original metric of the space. Topic: <laughs> Definitions. Let M D display style M D be a metric space i.e. M display style M is a collection of points such as all of the points in the plane or all points on the circle and d x y display style d x y is a function that provides us with the distance between points x y element of m display style x y in m we define a new metric d Display style d underscore text i on m display style m known as the induced intrinsic metric as follows d i x y display style d underscore text i x y is the infimum of the lengths of all paths from x display style x to y display style y here a path from x display style x to y display style y is a continuous map gamma 0 1 m display style gamma colon 0 1 right arrow m with gamma 0 equals x display style gamma 0 equals x and gamma 1 equals y display style gamma 1 equals y the length of such a path is defined as explained for rectifiable curves we set d i x y equals infinity Display style d underscore text i x y equals inf t. If there is no path of finite length from x display style x to y display style y, if d i x y equals d x y Display style d underscore text i x y equals d x y for all points x display style x and y display style y in M display style M we say that M d display style M d is a length space or a path metric space and the metric D display style D is intrinsic. We say that the metric D display style D has approximate midpoints if for any epsilon greater than zero display style var epsilon greater than zero and any pair of points x display style x and y display style y in m display style m there exists c display style c in m display style m such that d x c display style d x c and d c y Display style d c y are both smaller than d x y 
2 plus epsilon display style dx y over 2 plus var epsilon Topic examples Euclidean space Rn display style math bound R caret n with the ordinary Euclidean metric is a path metric space Rn minus zero display style math bound R caret n zero is as well the unit circle S one display style S caret one with the metric inherited from the Euclidean metric of R two display style math bound R caret two the chordal metric is not a path metric space. The induced intrinsic metric on S1 display style S caret 1 measures distances as angles in radians and the resulting length metric space is called the Riemannian circle. In two dimensions, the chordal metric on the sphere is not intrinsic and the induced intrinsic metric is given by the great circle distance. Every Riemannian manifold can be turned into a path metric space by defining the distance of two points as the infimum of the lengths of continuously differentiable curves connecting the two points. The Riemannian structure allows one to define the length of such curves. Analogously, other manifolds in which a length is defined included Finsler manifolds and sub Riemannian manifolds. Any complete and convex metric space is a length metric space. Kirk 2001, Theorem 2.16, a result of Karl Menger. The converse does not hold in general, however, there are length metric spaces which are not convex. Topic. Properties In general, we have D D I display style D L E Q D underscore text I and the topology defined by D I display style D underscore text I is therefore always finer than or equal to the one defined by D display style D the space M D I display style M D underscore text I is always a path metric space with the caveat, as mentioned above, that D I display style D underscore text I can be infinite. The metric of a length space has approximate midpoints. Conversely, every complete metric space with approximate midpoints is a length space. The hoff rinau theorem states that if a length space M D display style M D is complete and locally compact then any two points in M display style M can be connected by a minimizing geodesic and all bounded closed sets in M display style M are compact. <laughs> <laughs> 